When the list of 80 boxers for the 2014-2015 IBA Pro Boxing came out, Kenyan boxing fans celebrated what was undoubtedly the acme of Kenya's boxing story. Three of the most popular Kenyan boxers had made the cut. Rayton Okwiri in welterweight, Benson Gisharu in bantamweight, and Nixon Abaka in middleweight would lift the Kenyan flag at the highest level of boxing after convincing performances at the 2013 World Boxing Championships. They have graced the ring not only hunting for the prestigious titles, but also the huge paychecks that come with them. Of the three, one man is on the brink of rewriting the history books. 27-year-old Rayton Okwiri is headed to what he calls the biggest fight of his career when he takes on 2008 Olympian Onur Sipal of Turkey in the welterweight world title fight on January 24th in Baku, Azerbaijan. Uh, this man Sipal is no stranger to query after all. They met in the second round of the category where Sipal narrowly triumphed with 60 points against Okwiri's 57. He might have lost the fight, but Okwiri did study Sipal's style and has been hard at work on how to counter them, led by his long-term coach Patrick Miner. Ni, ni mtu mraf, ni mtu strong, so I have to be faster than him so that neza kumshinda kwa uraisi. Yule jamaa anagoja apigwe, kuna hile tunaita counter punch. Yee anakuwa kuna wakati wote ana start, anagoja okuri ya start, ndiyo a counter punch okuri. Na yondo nimekua niki work on sana. Coach Maina and his colleague John Waweru have been scratching their heads, anticipating everything and fine-tuning their boxer skills in a bit to ensure he brings his A game on the day of reckoning. Ninampendea speed yake. Ako na nguvu. Na pia kwa boxing inataka na kusikiza sana. Ukiwa ukiwa na discipline nzuri kumsikiza coach wako kila wakati, okwiri akuwa ni mtu anabidi. Na nampendea hapo sana. Yote na mwache Mwenyezi Mungu kwa zimia yangu ni shache za yangu. Na na bado naendelea kwa uh, training imekuwa mzuri. Tumekuwa tuko competitive vizuri na makoch. Najua mchezo utakuwa mzuri. Najiamini to the man who has been on the front line in reviving boxing in the country, this bout is not only of significance to his federation in Kenya, but also the African continent. I'm uh, appealing to Kenyans who are in that region, in Baku, to come to the stadium that particular night and share the winner, because I know he's going to win that bout. For Okwiri, however, he might be jumping for fitness for now, but Ishua could be jumping for joy as he heads to cash a check of close to 8 million shillings. But he will have to win the title foremost. He will also have made it to the Rio 2016 Olympics.